Well, see, that's where you and I differ. I hear cowboy dubstep, and I think that's so absurd that I have to listen to it. Anyway, I'm Zoo, and I hate video games. Tonight, we're going to play a game about the adorable goblin that says fuck. And let's get that started up, shall we? Greetings to everyone in chat. I see Christy, I see Andy, I see Xenon. Greetings to all of you. Um, where the fuck is Sticks? There it is. Alright. And now it'll start very slowly. I believe we're on uh, chapter 3, level 4, so we're about to rescue whoever our big, big friend is. There we go. Should be able to see it. Yeah, there we go. All right. Turn that volume down a bit. And find my controller. It's around here somewhere. Also, I just realized that my window is in the upper left corner of my screen again. Not all the way in the upper left corner of the screen, just part way up there, which is kind of weird. Regardless, it should be down here in the middle. Y'all can't see what I'm talking about, and that's fine. But it would bother me. My eyes would be constantly averted to the left. And that would suck. And an entire room full of rompers? That sounds like a fun way to dress. And here we are. Start of chapter 3, level 4. Alright, so we're trying to get to the prisoner who is over 100 meters away. Wow. Let's start out by shutting off some of this light. Alright, B to crouch. There we go. In Monster Hunter World, you tap A to crouch. And I just got... I just uh, ordered, as I've been saying, or as my sisters have been saying, I'm sure, I've been saying on Mastodon, as my sisters have probably mentioned here, we're going to have a much nicer CPU in a couple of days. It should be here Tuesday. Rompers are so hard to get in and out of, and they need like a butt flap, and then everyone looking at you is like, oh yeah, she poops. I mean, I'm down for that. I want everyone to know that I am capable of pooping. Oh, shit. Look at you. I'm gonna kill this guy. Sound good? I haven't had any corpses go flying in a while. Maybe we did last week and I just don't remember. Either way, it's fine. No corpse going flying right now, so... A++ Stebs, excellent. I live for these ratings. Isn't some kind of L tree, yeah? Anyway, the first thing I come across the... Second. Let's save here. I mean, the PC... But a Stebs is fine, too. Thinking of finally getting a gaming PC for your birthday next Monday. Oh, I didn't know it was your birthday so soon. Happy birthday a week and a day ahead of time. I'm assuming you mean next Monday and not tomorrow. Because otherwise you probably would have said tomorrow. Shining a bit too yellow. I'll get it right and that would allow you to uh, play Overwatch with Alice, and I know she would love that. She absolutely adores you for some reason. What have we got here? Ah, okay. Another uh, LP. You can you can sit over here. You're fine. He's fine, everyone. Not really the next Monday, but rather the Monday after. Exactly. Wow, this guy's 
How am I supposed to take this guy out? Oh, I see. Oh, clever. How am I supposed to get up there without being spotted, though? I want that sand, damn it. Ooh, I've actually got an alternate way to do this. Not exactly what the devs intend, but... Let's take a closer... Shit. Alright. Didn't do what I wanted to happen, but... It works anyway. Ooh. Someone over there thinks they spotted me. Don't tell them, but they didn't. Oh, this might have worked too. Okay, I see. Overwatch is definitely one of the considerations, plus I have loads of Steam games I'd like to play without processor lag. Yes. That's... Like, the main thing I'm worrying about right now with Monster Hunter World is... Uh, to give you an idea of how powerful my GPU is in comparison to my CPU, uh, when I play Monster Hunter World, it says 90... 95% load on CPU for Monster Hunter World, 12% on GPU. Also, I know I've said this many times, but I don't ever recommend streaming Overwatch at this point. Uh, that that does that still does not attract a good crowd. It's a very fun game I found though when you uh, can relax and play it. I've I've enjoyed playing as Anna specifically. Huh? How am I supposed to get past these guys? I know I can move quieter than I used to, but I don't think I'm going to be able to go quiet enough to get past them. Do I have any knives? I do not have any knives. Alright. I don't know. I guess I can try, uh... What do you think? Can I go invisible and get past them? My, my steps are supposed to be... Drink some amber. Oh shit, they heard that. If I can just attract one of them, I can try a muffled kill and run away, right? But I'll need to attract just the one. I can't believe they could hear me drinking. They are really sensitive to that stuff. No, that wasn't enough. Son of a bitch. Oh, I'm screwed. It's all good. We'll try it a different way. I did not think that they were going to spot me. Usually if I stay still, they just leave me alone. So that seems a little inconsistent. It might be that they just had more than, like, 1% spottedness. However you'd say that. Strange. <laughs> Alright, this guy's easy. This guy is easy. This guy is not too smart. <laughs> Alright, let's just stick him in the closet. It'll be a bit easier. I can't throw sand at them, which is honestly kind of missing a beat there. If I would had my clone, if I leveled up my clone, I probably would be able to use him to kill the the roaches. Alright, well, there, we're this far again now. There, now we're this far again. I guess that our best bet is probably going invisible and then running past. Yeah, he can just hear me drinking. That's so crazy. Ouch. There's no way I'm getting close to that monster. I can kiss my ass goodbye. So far so good. What am I Hey, how do I open this?
I feel like I've done something wrong. Oh, there's another ogre. Or orc. Orkger. I get in there. I don't see any lever to open it. Man, this guy is not happy about me being here. Okay. Why could he see me? I'm legitimately confused as to why he was able to spot me. They've never been able to spot me when I'm standing hill and still and they haven't heard me. It's because this game has consistency, like Dark Souls. Alright, that's the wrong... thing, anyway. Where's the lever to open this door up here? And yes, I agree, they're bullshit. If I sneak very slowly, I may be able to just slip past them when the orange one goes down the hallway. But I don't see the lever to open this, so we're going to have to use a clone. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the little green man. Chug, chug, chug. If you ever wanted to know the definition of jukes, look it up in the dictionary and you will find a screenshot of what I just did. Okay, now he can hear me all of a sudden. Why is he able to hear me from that far away now? I'm not happy about this abrupt change in mechanics. Alright, now he's back in his normal spot, so maybe that'll do it. Just save, so. Ouch. There's no way I'm getting close to that. Kiss my ass goodbye. Okay, you can't see me. Go back to sleep, buddy. Alright, well that was no problem. I mean, it was a little problem, but we got through it. So how's everyone else doing? Solving your little problems? Working on your big ones? I like to think we'll all get there in the end. Alright, what am I... Oh, okay. Um, huh. Okay, we're gonna have to go overhead for this one. Lazing about watching Sabrina with my wife and cats. That's not a bad way to spend your time. And honestly, that's a way to solve certain problems. For fuck's sake, I can't take it anymore. Not a single woman for months. How do the others do it? Oh, my dear Bertha. If only I could hold you in This guy going to talk about jerking off. Well, at my next shift, I'll find a nice quiet corner. Not directly, but yes. Ooh, unfasten. <laughs> no regrets. Achievement unlocked. Watch out below. Oh, come on. I jumped. It's fine. Pretty dope Sunday night, I have to say. 
stream is just delicious murder icing on the murder cake. Want to work on actually hosting my website, but that's five bucks a month, so I don't know. I hear that. Gravity kills, gravity falls, you know, one of those. Take it anymore. Just Not a single woman for months. How did the others do it? All right, we're still going to uh, drop the oh chandelier on them. If only I could hold See if there's any way I can get this guy to move closer, though. And my next shift, I'll find a nice quiet corner. Interesting that it set off the plague doctor, but it didn't set off the guard there. And right, it doesn't look like they're going to move around this way. Yeah, the guard finds it interesting, but it's not setting him off as though he wants to... He goes after it, but it's not signaling that he's going to go after it. What the fuck? That's really weird. And this time the Plague Doctor got the symbol, but then he didn't give a shit. Hi, Alma. Hi, Bad Road. Good to see you guys. Trying to get a character to level 90 on Path of Exile, but also enjoying the goblin what says naughty words. I'm glad to hear it, and I'm glad you all decided to spend your Sunday evening with me. I've been told that when I speak normally, I sound insincere. What? Oh, I guess he saw me out of the corner of his eye there. I've been told I sound insincere when I talk normally, but I want you all to know that this is just how I talk. Okay, there's a few places up here I'm in the dark, but most of it I'm catching small rays of light. No, get up there. This, this is some platforming. Fortunately, the platforming in this game isn't that bad. It's not good, but it's not that bad. This is one of those games that I think I can recommend to a fairly wide audience, despite it not being, despite it objectively not being very well built, despite it objectively not being good. But I think it can appeal to a wide audience because there's workarounds for the badness. What? I got the heartbeat sound. There's no way anyone saw me. That heartbeat just goes off at random, I swear. It's supposed to tell us when someone spotted us, but it usually doesn't. Like, there's a lot of janky games I play. Monster Hunter World, uh, Dark Souls, that I can recommend to a much smaller audience. But this one, because it has the ability to save everywhere, specifically because of that, I can recommend this to most of you. It's very fun, with minimal frustration. You believe in goblins, you? Do you think they exist? Goblins? What's that? I've already heard this conversation. In stories, the creatures you see from the corner of your eye, but that are no longer there when you turn around. Oh, yeah. Sometimes happens to me, seeing things that don't exist. As someone who tears through these games, oh shit. As someone who tears through these games, I do not subscribe to the idea that this particular type of game is something I'm really good at. I'm not going to pretend I'm not good at video games, but the reason I can tear through these games is mostly sheer determination and willingness to break the game and play it in a way that it wasn't intended to be played.
And a lot of that may come from playing so many quarter munchers as a kid. We get past this guy. The existence of goblins is apparently a hot topic among the guards who have been getting massacred by a goblin. That's true. And I guess that makes sense. Okay, am I going to be able to get under here without setting off the orc? He kind of looks like a pickle, doesn't he? What is with games I'm playing lately and having monsters that look like pickles? The idea that someday the goblin will say fuck to his captors fills you with determination. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. That's some, that's some top-notch Undertale reference. How do I get past these guys now? Guess I can get fairly close. Now I stay very still. There we go. We got there. Uh-oh, he think he saw something. Just take a quick Fuck. He did saw something that time. Ah, shit. No, turn around. Go away. You're very lucky that bug was there. Not really, though. You're fucked. I don't know where to put this corpse. Oh, looks like there's a... Looks like there's a bottomless pit. It's just strange, Badro, that it was the same exact conversation we'd heard in just one level prior. Alright, you think I can safely dump this down here? I'm afraid they'll see it fall past them. It's over for him. They saw it. I found a body. They're on alert. Shit, he saw me. Damn, it was worth a try. What was that noise? I don't know where to put this corpse is one of those problems you only want to have fictionally. That's very true. Now, I'm running out of places to put this corpse is arguably worse. All right, the problem is when they when he bounces off the side here shouldn't let me fall off, right? Yeah, we've discovered that. Got it. Uh-oh. What this chungus sauce? Yeah, it was that Chungus. Can't you throw it down the infinite tower? Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. It's just they saw it the first time. They saw it tumbling past. Is there anyone down there that I'm not seeing? Nope. Looks like there's something out. There's something over there. Oh, fuck. They heard me. Oh no, just all the dudes. Alright, so I've gotta land more quietly than that.
means going down this way. This guy is going to come up behind me at some point. Ah, shit, but there's two of them, so I'd better not. Is there seriously... Yeah, there's guys right behind me there. All right. What am I supposed to do then? Huh. I had thought it was the guys above running down the ramp. All right, there's got to be some other way over past this bridge. Let's take a quick look around. See it. My best bet may be to uh, go invisible and just run through. If I can wait till this guy turns around, I can land on... Ah, interesting. Yeah, I've got to land on the stuff down below, but I'm not sure how to line that up. No, no one fucking sees me. Oh, yes they do. Holy shit. Don't worry about it. You didn't see shit. Nobody here. Damn right nobody here. Don't, oh, Jesus Christ. These controls sometimes. Grabs onto stuff when you don't want them to. Let's go when you don't. Or let's go when you do. I say, the platforming isn't that bad. That is not to say it's good. If not that bad counted as good, I'd have a lot less to say about a lot of AAA games. Alright, I'm just gonna have to take this guy out, aren't I? Now he's gonna go that way. What the fuck? Who saw me? Oh well, doesn't matter now, does it? Yeah, you don't see shit. You're bugs. All right, I think we're good now. Lowered my standards for 3D platforming every couple years. Not just platforming, yo. <laughs> Nowadays, everything has a lower standard. Can I not get back up there? What the fuck? It's a good thing I didn't save, huh? Yeah, you can't get back up to that. The fuck? You're not serious right now. Why would you put these platforms down here, then? So I can try and land on this stuff, but I'm 100% certain that... You really want me to go all the way back around like that? Why? Oh, okay, I didn't see that. That's much better. Not a programmer, so I don't know how much work that would entail. I feel like this would be fixed with a dedicated mantling button. I just think that when games have millions of dollars poured into them, there comes a point where I expect a little bit more out of them. I think that we have a tendency to move forward with technology that we don't know how to use. And that's what gets us... Oh, come on! That's what gets us a lot of the bullshit. I accidentally got pushed back there. No, oh, loaded the wrong save. Like, the fact that uh, unstable geometry can often be made much, much better. God damn it. Simply by uh, 
lowering the complexity of said geometry. Hence why you fall through the earth practically not at all in uh, the Monster Hunter Generation series. But just constantly in Monster Hunter World. Huh. Well, that turned out better than expected. That right. He probably got away. Wow, they give up real easy, huh? I think I can get this guy? I think I'm gonna get spotted if I try. Ah, uh, there goes a big ol' frame loss event, and it looks like it's getting worse. I knew it. Knew I should have reset the modem ahead of time. Oh shit! Oh. oh. <laughs> Sorry, that was just catharsis. Unstable geometry, as in it's very easy to fall through the world. Like in Dark Souls, if you attack someone too close to one of the walls, there is a very high chance you're just going to drop straight through the planet. So that's kind of become the nickname for that, is Unstable Geometry. Alright, now I see him. Gotta juke this guy out. Mantling, do you mean a climb button? That would be pretty easy. Sorry, I didn't read the whole thought. I'm just gonna have to uh, go invisible for this again, aren't I? Kinda looking that way. The fuck who saw me this time? You couldn't have possibly seen me. There was stuff between you and me. Stop looking through walls, you fucking cheater. Okay, you saw me. That's legit. This is a bad place to be standing. Oh, come on. You couldn't have seen me there, either. The button, maybe it can share duties with Crouch, where when you hold it as you approach the ledge, the game... No yeah, that would be wonderful. That would be absolutely wonderful. One sec, Mike's falling off again. Alright, I'm back. Nothing's lurking around here. You're full of shit. It's fine. I didn't catch on fire. You didn't see shit. Sometimes I make these things seem more complicated than they are. Just let yourself catch on fire. That's the solution there. I agree wholeheartedly, Bad Road. This is just a nightmare you're having, Drifter. Go back to sleep. Alternate text. Get out of here, stalker. Alright, that guy's gonna see me if I don't knock out this torch. What was that? I heard something. Yeah, you thought you heard something. You didn't, though, so it's fine. You didn't go to relight the torch, either.
question is, am I going to be able to get behind him with... Nope. Sometimes their peripheral vision is insane. Like, they can see 20 degrees behind them, and other times they can't see shit two feet in front of them. Jesus Christ, I can't go anywhere. How am I supposed to take this guy out? I guess I gotta let him see me and then get the hell away. Maybe I can take this guy out. No, don't relight my torch, you ass. Yeah, come on. There's something over there. Understood. No, you're not supposed to alert someone else. That's not fun. That's not cool. Strange. Oh, come on. Oh, I fucked that up. Ah, I can still outfight them. The problem, they pay so much attention to what's behind them and they can't see what's in front. Okay, we're losing frames again. This is unbearable. Just a moment. If it passes in the next few minutes, we're fine. Otherwise, I'm going to reset the modem. I knew I should have done in the first place. Their faces are purely ornamental. They observe with their hair. Ah, gotcha. Is Alucard actually bisexual, or does he just have mannerisms? He doesn't have any kind of sexuality, really, in Symphony of the Night. He's a little flirty with everyone, but he never makes a move because he's a corpse. Also, he is in, uh, what's it called, Lords of Darkness. He is Trevor Belmont. So the very idea of him uh, being flirty with Trevor Belmont in the main timeline is hilarious. Alright, this is much easier. Can I get to him without him spotting me? That's the question. That'll make my life a lot easier. The answer is, of course. He's not terribly observant. Ooh, that's a great position for him to land, isn't it? God damn it. Getting real annoyed with not being able to... Now let's see if we can drop this uh, on this guy's head. No? Really? Maybe? I don't... I need to figure out where it's connected. I think I need a uh, dagger to do that. That's not great. I thought he was only half corpse. I mean, he's a vampire. I think it was based on Curse of Darkness. The uh, cartoon series is based on Castlevania 3. Which I don't remember if that had a subtitle or not. Yeah, I guess there's no way to unhook this chandelier, so that's sad. I really wanted to crush that man to death. Alright, I might be able to drop kill that guy, but I think I'd be spotted. 
I think what I need to do is put out that torch while he's going around and then come back around the other way. Three was Dracula's curse, all right. They spoil that basically in the intro to the series. It's not much of one. He was born... I mean, if there's such a thing as half-vampire. That's, that's the question. Because uh, Dracula was still... human? Vampires are still human? So... Not sure if it's uh, technically something that you can actually pass on in genes, or partially pass on in genes, or whatever. My grandpa was a lesbian, so that makes me quarter lesbian. Oh, I thought that had set him off. Damn. There we go. Alright, we got this now. I'm gonna have to be careful, but I think I can take him down from up here. I gotta jump over him. I did not jump far enough. D with yeah, that's not Castlevania, though. Also, he had a he had an angry face on his hand. Didn't get him as quick as I'd hoped. God damn it. Ugh. I was supposed to get him before the torch got relit. Person with a condition is still just a person, but I'm a quarter lesbian is too adorable to pass up. <laughs> that was back when South Park had good jokes. That was a very long time ago. Oh, God! I hit the wrong button. That's on me. I hit Y instead of X. Alright, we're gonna get it this time, y'all. Come on! I jumped too soon this time. The mouth on D's hand is a parasite, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I haven't watched that show in a very long time. I remember it being very silly and very dumb. And I remember all my male friends thinking it was super cool and super deep while I thought it was hilarious. He did not light that torch. That literally didn't happen. You won't find shit. How did they all... I guess the ogre set them off. Cartman claimed to be 1 16th lesbian so he could date Miss Ellen, the substitute teacher. Yes. Uh, this was actually a different one. This is when they were trying to figure out Cartman's father? I think. So that was that that joke's apparently gotten its uh there. That joke's apparently been done multiple times now. Oh come on! I was in the dark! He's not supposed to be able to see me when that happens. Now I'm actually getting kind of annoyed. This this does not seem very 
I'm going to have to try something different. This does not seem very uh, consistent at all. I'm just going to land on this fucker. Huh. Well, that worked far better than it should have. That's like the loudest kill I have, and it didn't set everyone off, while absolutely nothing was setting them off with quiet kills. So, talking of inconsistency, occasionally it works in your favor. No, you didn't see shit. Can we get in between the, the orcs without upsetting them? We're gonna save first. Into the body locker. So that's a no. How am I supposed to get past them then? If I had a throwing knife, I could do it. All right, fuck this. I'm resetting the modem. This is awful. We'll be back in a couple of minutes. Don't go. Don't go anywhere. <laughs>